and welcome back to the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Mass Effect. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Cody. We are gonna <sighs> kill some baddies. Yep. Taking Liara, and we're taking Garrus, and we're gonna go. This is our landing party. Ugh, I'm still just, I'm just so depressed. <laughs> Like it's that our romance doesn't matter. It's just or what we say doesn't matter. You want to feel like you're important in this world, you know? And when you find out it doesn't even matter what you said, it hurts a little bit. It does. Speaking of space romance, though, have you read any more of the Cinder series? No, I have the next book on, on hold from the library, but I haven't gotten it yet. Which, I uh. mean, I'm looking forward to because I'm kind of in the black hole of I don't have anything to listen to. As far as audiobooks go, and I, and, uh, when I don't have audiobooks to listen to, things get real embarrassing for Cody. <laughs> Do you just find, like, the first romance that Libby suggests to you? Yeah, basically. Um, okay, we'll cooperate, I guess. Yeah, who are these people? This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Um... Um, yeah. Yeah, them's is my credentials. <laughs> wow. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Wow, well, she's carrying a gun. Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> also, I like how there's also three of them. Oh, suddenly? Um... Uh, no, like, there's there's three of us and three of them for some reason. Oh. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is bad. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Dr. Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit... <laughs> You're the one who is confrontational. <sighs> okay... Can I shoot them, like, in the back? No, it won't let me. That that would increase our renegade rating. Hey, yeah, well, you know what? But I'm in a bad mood now, all right? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> They're the worst. You still want to come to Navaria? <laughs> Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. <laughs> um, okay. I'm trying to be nice, and I feel like it's not going to matter. I'm still going to end up a renegade. <laughs> this is how villains are made. You know? What do you mean? Like, when the person tries to do a good thing, and then everyone oh, just assumes yeah. they're a villain anyway, and then they're like, fine, I guess I'll lean into it. Oh. Oh, her mama's here. Oh. Uh, she's a dead woman. Let's just burn this relationship with Liara. Uh. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Wait, why do we need to talk to Benezia? Because Benezia is the one that was all up with Saren. Okay. Do you remember, like, the beautiful old yes. lady? Yes. That was my instinct, is that we're talking to her to find out about Saren, but I couldn't remember. Well, that'll be a good conversation with Liara afterward. Yeah, right? Like, after we kill her mom by shooting her right in the face? <laughs> yeah, should uh, we bring Liara to that conversation? Should we not? I don't know. Uh, well, we definitely don't want to kill Liara's mom without Liara being there, which sounds weird to say, <laughs> but, like, imagine the conversation if Liara's there and she, like, agrees that her mom has to die. Right. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard, about my mother. Um, I don't really... Whatever. I don't want to question if I can trust her. I want to say that I can yeah. trust her. Yeah. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part that's of... A, yeah. That's a good answer. That's solid. That's what I wanted to say. Good job, Shepard. Good. Good job. Awesome. See, sometimes she nails it. Yeah, like occasionally... We so say all the totally right things. <laughs> Shepard says all the right things at exactly the wrong time, Shepard. <laughs> oh, freaking more elevators. Uh. <laughs> 
scientific for your own safety and to just the privacy. and there's like so voiceover much. for no reason i really hate the clothes in this game like all the clothes are identical except they're like a slightly different color you know what i mean yeah but it's always it's just like you know like i can't wear that or that i can only wear this freaking stupid skin suit and i don't want to wear a skin suit yeah <clears throat> Like, I just want to wear something different. But no, all the clothes look exactly the same. Apparently, Bioware is known for having terrible hair options, too. Really? Like, in all their games. Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty bad. What? What is this? Is, I, I just got to know if I could buy stuff from this <laughs> weird <laughs> space. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this <is a> space <laughs> jellyfish. Um, view upgrades. Oh my gosh, he's just, he's a merchant. <laughs> wow, I don't have any money to buy oh. any of this stuff. <laughs> I can sell a bunch of crap, though. Uh, Yeah, I think anything that's, like, level one, I can basically just get rid of. And anything heavy armor, because I can't use any of it. Should I be doing this right now, Caitlin? You know, in your Probably opinion? Probably not. How how do you feel about me selling crap? Okay, you know what? When we get done recording, I'm going to I'm going to like do some some buying and selling. There we go. <clears throat> Cuz I feel like that needs to get done at some point. Probably. Um But I don't want to be there. I I understand. Oh my gosh, Caitlin, I just don't even know where to go. Would oh. it really kill them to put an inventory like a a thing on the map to show where to go? Or like some yeah, they act signage. like it's fun. I, the thing I don't understand about me personally is how I like maps so much, but hate navigating in video games so dang much. Well, there's navigating in video games where there's actually like some amount of ch freaking. I have no idea where to go. I'm so I'm completely lost. <laughs> I didn't pay attention when they told me where the person was, which is my own fault, and I know that. Uh, she's like somewhere, yeah. You need to we drive to like, out. Ah, time to get a car. Okay, so I need to find like a garage. I think I'm a specter, so I think I can just take whatever I want. Which mm -hmm. is a probably a really bad way for a specter to behave. Oh, frick. We're going to yeah, have to that's... drive more, Caitlin. We're going to have to drive mm. more. Oh, look. Cars. Cars. Yay. Caitlin, we figured it out. We're the best. We I've did. explored. I am a winner. So being a specter is kind of like in Crystal Heart, the RPG, where we're, oh gosh, what are we called? Chris, Crystal Hearts? Yeah. What, Crystal the, what were our characters called? Uh, we were like uh, free agents of Sin. Oh so yeah, we we were part of Sin. That's right. Access to the garage is restricted. Yeah, you, I was just we were talking about like taking a car. I'm on Citadel business. And I was thinking about how. Everyone would probably hate us for doing stuff just like this. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Like when you would, you know, in that game, it'd be like you'd wander into a village and be like, "I'm an agent of sin. Give me all of your food." Right, <laughs> like, and they have to give you food. Yeah, and they like have to help you and supply you and stuff. But yeah, I guess except in this game, I have to go and talk to a guy named like Mister Angle Agnolias. For some reason, I'm sure I'll have to kill some guys to talk to him. <laughs> Okay, so we figured out where the garage was because there was a sign. But now we have to find a guy named Mr. Agnolius. That's not him. Oh, gosh, it just really... Like, what's, what's the point? It's just... I think they, like, told us, like, a clue about where to find him. But then the oh. problem was we were talking and, <laughs> you know, having fun and being friends and didn't pay attention. And, and then it didn't yeah. put it in, like, our quest journal or whatever. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, two hours later. <laughs> no, businesswoman. Business oh, no. <laughs> the manager's warned us about you. Oh, no. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking. Oh, wow. Well, oh, oh, okay, okay, good guards. Guards, guards are good. Guards okay. guard things, like Mr. Agnolis. Oh, I just felt a little loading screen there. I see okay. a dude. I think we found Dang. him. Nope. Nope. Just wait. Wasn't she somewhere? Where's Anoglis? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, 
Okay. Is she just like in multiple places at once? No, Caitlin. They're just wearing the same shirt. That doesn't make them the same person. (laughs) Well, she's got the same name. No, she doesn't. Yeah, it's Gianna Parasini. She was out. This is not the same lady. It was definitely not the same lady. It was. It definitely was Gianna Parasini. Also, Caitlin, I I don't mean to be rude, but I wasn't paying attention to what she said again because I was talking to you. (laughs) Oh well, here he is. Haha. Oh my gosh, I can just shoot him. Uh, well, let's not do that because we want to talk to him, right? What? <laughs> do we need information from him? Are you shooting him? Are no. you saving so you can murder him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Caitlin. Why would I Cody. do that? I don't know what you're saying right now. I mean, I'm clearly not going to just murder this guy in cold blood in front of the woman that I love because I need some kind of cathartic... <laughs> He immune well that didn't make me feel any well better. do you feel cathartized wow oh please <laughs> um, watch your mouth man you know at some point i'm just like i'm not gonna be nice to everybody oh this alien freak uh Wow. This greeting is a courtesy. I only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Um I'm looking for someone. I'm on a sure. mission. I don't know. I'm not here to investigate your tenants. Nevertheless, I have a responsibility to keep you away from them. Inspectors are not encumbered by a need for due process. Tenants are trying to murder you. Oh my gosh. Mm. I guess, see, developing weapons? I don't know if we care. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Okay. Venezia, yeah. Or no. Why is synthetic insights closed? I have placed Laura Keen, the manager of What is synthetic insights? <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, but we didn't get the cars. Venezia, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe this is what we needed to do. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, Define personal escort? Nah, I don't care. That's just me. Okay. There's guys with guns. And I don't care what kind of cargo. Aren't I like a I get to go anywhere guy who can kill anybody? Isn't that the whole point of being me? Surface access, you say. Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Oh. Mm. Like what is the point of letting me repeat a dialogue option? <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Freaking creepy bug. I don't care. This is why I said that all aliens suck. Goodbye. Bye. I have no more questions at this time. <laughs> it made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Just a tiny bit better. Okay, so. Well, what, 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 what? Say that again? What, what do you, you suggest? suggest? All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. We should be able to find him at the hotel. <sighs> bye. Talk to you later. Okay, bar time. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to shoot up another bar. <laughs> I like kind of almost feel bad that I have to keep shooting up all these bars. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of guards here that I feel like I'm going to have to fight soon. And they're all Sarens, which is kind of sad. Mm. I liked him. Wait, what? Well, they all you look like... Saren? No, not Saren. Sorry, Garrus. They all look like Garrus. Oh, I see. They're all the... What are they called? The... I don't remember what they're called. Thorian? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I think you're right. Am I? 
I'm pre- I'm pre- yeah, because the that's when we met that guy, and everyone's like, I don't like Thorians. They have creepy face. <laughs> Maybe S means Quote, bar. Tony Johnson. Elevator. Uh, well, <laughs> all right. I don't know where else to go. Like, you know what I mean? Wouldn't it be nice if you could pop open a map and be like, oh, this is where the hotel is. I'll go to the hotel. Yeah, like route here. You know? Like, even if they don't give me an exact footpath, I just don't even... I have no idea why I'm going up this elevator. We complain about this game a lot while we're playing this game. Sorry, folks. I feel a little bit bad. Oh, wow. Okay, there he is. Oh, okay. Oof. Okay. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? Oh, they're Turians. Yeah. I need to get to peak 15. You're trying to find a way into the garage. Have places to go. You need a pass. Okay. Do we have to We're going to have to do some him? crap for him. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy that is corrupt. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite relevant hmm. since he took direct control of Rents. Uh what an intriguing what about the garage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired police are ransacking my office to find it. Cool. Sounds good. That sounds like a fair trade. <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. I'm fine with that. <laughs> More than fine, in fact. <laughs> I I feel the need for violence. <laughs> um Yeah, they're crooked, I don't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto execute. Uh awesome. Alrighty. <laughs> blood stains off the carpets. Oh, I'm yeah, we'll do our best. So many blood stains on your carpet. So many blood stains. <laughs> That's a creepy thing to say, isn't it? I probably shouldn't say so many blood stains. <laughs> New ringtone. Uh, okay. Caitlin, we already so got, we only got two more minutes of this episode, and I really want to shoot some things. So we are definitely well, figuring out up, this Ellen. office thing. Because <laughs> I feel the need. So have you figured out from either people who like this game what they like so much about it? I or do they just like Mass Effect 2? A lot of people have told me, like, I actually talked to an, another guy that was, um, you know, he mentioned Mass Effect is a great game. I told him I hated the first one. And it's always like, I feel like every time I tell someone the first one's rough, they're like, well, uh, I mean, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> if you get, if you just ignore that for long enough and hard enough, it'll be okay. <laughs> And I'm like, no, that's like not good, you know? Like you shouldn't have if to I get to. through in a whole game just to get to the second game to make the game enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And they say a lot of stuff just gets completely removed in the second game and all that. So Oh, like what? Well, like the Land Rover and the way combat <laughs> works and oh, Caitlin. They look like they are pre dead. <laughs> <laughs> I am a space wizard. Uh, oh, what are those? Why are those differently colored? So I am. I leveled up a like one of my talking skills, which unlocks oh. certain dialogue options. So this is like intimidation, and this I mm-hmm. think is charm, and I have charm leveled up. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who 
sounds keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Cool. I oh, bet that... we did Paragon. Yeah. We got some Paragon points that. was- that. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Okay, wait. okay. Well, we're still killing people. Alright. <laughs> so we saved two people's lives. Well, it's the best of both worlds. We get some Paragon points and you get some catharsis, right? Yep. That's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, I want to go up there and kill more things. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go around a little bit here. Do do do. It's a big office. Why is this office look like this? Yeah, it's like a bunker. That's not what a guy like him would be. Yeah, you think he would have in, something you know? nice, you know, and like pretty. Yeah. That's where you have carpets and yeah, everything just looks like a military bunker with some nice chairs, maybe. That basically sums up this whole game, though. <laughs> military bunker with nice chairs sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I feel better. I feel good about my life now. All right, easy decryption. Boom. Yay. I'm the best at games. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. No, just take <laughs> all. Okay, got some stuff. medical goop. Oh, this is like optional. I don't actually have to do this. I understand now. Yay. But I'll definitely take all this stuff. Uh, stop being on cover for like two seconds. I like how the guy's That's like, come insane. get evidence from my office. And then I just ransacked his <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah, where's the evidence? Like, Maybe. Oh, there. Maybe? Hmm. Well, it's in his office somewhere, so I'm just kind of going through everything and taking all okay. of it. I really thought it would be through those doorways, but I guess not. What? Now? Oh, let's talk to someone. Okay, that's just Liara. All right. Yeah, right? Doesn't it seem like that's where it would be? But apparently not. Stop crouching. I don't even know how I'm doing that. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's probably over here. This looks like his office. Oh, okay. This is a different area. What are yeah. those big red like telephone booths? It's not important. Keep going. <laughs> you mean the, the, the planters? <laughs> no, they're like tall. Hey, that's it. Huh? No, that's it. Lorik Chin's computer, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were talking about the med kit I just got. Oh, no. I didn't mean to correct you. Never mind. Oh, saving game. Good. All right. Do you want to call it here? Um... And on a high note of shooting stuff and yeah, getting yeah. the evidence. We can call it here just with the understanding that I'm going to leave this office while we're off camera and buy a bunch of stuff and level up and stuff. Yeah. Alrighty. Until next time, everybody. Keep wandering. Bye. Hey, Wanders. Thanks for listening to the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Mass Effect. We hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link in the description. We have several actual play podcasts, including D&D &D 5th Edition, City of Mist, and many more. Until next time, keep wandering! <laughs>